Hi everyone, Tori here today with a new Tori oh, Tech Talk video. And I wanted to show you this really cool memory keeping app, um, which has sparked me to create really cool layouts and has really inspired me lately. And this is going to be a quick one because there's not a lot to explain or a lot of setup, but it's one of my new favorite apps on my phone. So I have just recently downloaded the Time Hop app, which is this one here with the little cute little dinosaur. And it is so cool. What you do is when you download the app, you input your different social media platforms and it gathers all of your photos and posts throughout the years and gives them to you in a little neat little package like a Time Hop. So I'll show you how it works. Um, when I go to my Time Hop, it will load October 3rd, so it says Tori's Day in History, and it shows me all my photos, videos, um, and posts from October 3rd throughout history. So you can notice on October 3rd, two years ago, um, I was doing a volleyball fundraiser and I posted this video. Um, there are some like a uh, advertisements in there, but you can just ignore those. And I'm just swiping to the right. Um, again, posting more about the volleyball tournament. I guess I had participated in a silhouette portrait giveaway, which I didn't win, but I posted about it three years ago. Um, four years ago today, I took this really adorable photo of Al and Dan when I was with the African Children's Choir. And um, I wanted to just explain how I would use this for scrapbooking. And when I see this photo of Al and Dan, immediately a story comes to mind, a story that I haven't scrapbooked. And all of a sudden, you'll see photos and things like this, and it'll inspire you. So for example, the story that I didn't tell that I know of immediately when I see this photo is the sign, All Welcome. Um, we were driving in the car one day, and we saw this sign that said, all welcome. And Alan Dan said to me, he said, Auntie, one day when I grow up, I'm going to be a chef and I'm going to have a restaurant and I'm going to call it all welcome. And I said, that's awesome, Alan. Like, why do you want to call it that? Like, why do you want to name your restaurant all welcome? And he said to me, Auntie, I want to call it all welcome because anybody can come to my restaurant, whether you have money or you don't have money, anyone can come to my restaurant and get fed. And he said, when I was a kid, sometimes I didn't have food and there was nowhere where we could go to get food. So I want to open a restaurant where kids just like me will know that they're always welcome and they can come get food. Now, just telling you that story makes like kind of breaks my heart and also makes me just want to hug this kid all over again. Um, but that's his heart. That's who he was. That's who he is. Um, and it speaks to the kind of guy that he is and the kind of guy that he's going to grow up into. And it's just such a meaningful, passionate story, um, all from seeing the sign that just said, all welcome. And the ridiculous thing is, that is such a beautiful story, but I've never told it. Instead, four years ago, I just posted a picture and I probably didn't even leave a comment on it. Nope. I didn't even leave a comment on this photo. Um, I just posted it because four years ago I thought, oh, I'll never forget to tell this story, but I have forgotten to tell the story. So I would use this kind of as a memory prompt for me. So if you find a photo that you're like, hey, I've never told that story and I want to tell that story, my suggestion is you hit the little save button, which is in the bottom left hand corner, and that photo will be saved to your camera roll. And um, then you could print it off and tell your story. And I'm definitely going to have to tell the all-welcome story of Alan Dan and his restaurant where he will provide for everyone. Which, honestly, I hope that one day he does grow up and he is able to do that. And thanks to the African Children's Choir, he's going to have education paid through university. So he'll be able to go to culinary school and uh, make his dreams come true, which is really epic. So let's keep swiping here. Let's see if I can find any other stories that I haven't told that I want to tell. So just swipe to the right, or to the, I guess you're swiping to the left. A photo of another chaperone and I from four years ago. I never, uh, advertisement, you can just ignore that. Um, five years ago today, I think I Facebook messaged this or tweeted it. I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world I'm coming home, 10 days. Um, this was also while I was on the African Children's Choir, 
and I was coming home for a little bit of a break which was really nice and I just wanted to quickly show you how you can see the comments underneath my photo there you can see the time that I posted it and you can see that I have one comment and six likes so if you tap that little bubble there up will pop the comments so I guess my friend Linda said yay which is awesome um, and I might even want to use her comments for my story keeping um, or storytelling so I could save that one if I wanted to um, I have a quote here the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page St. Augustine and I guess I'm working on my international application so this was seven years ago today where I was um, applying to work and volunteer in Italy which is kind of like crazy so this was something I had put on my application so that's there so that might spark a story and you can scroll over and then you get to the end and so you can see that I have 84 time hops in a row so every day I kind of open my phone I log in and I scroll through the years um, to see what I posted and to see if it sparks any memories and if there's anything that I want to tell a story with now I hope that that kind of gave you some ideas for how you could use the time hop app to spark um, stories and how it could inspire you but even if you if even if it doesn't inspire you to tell your stories it's still really fun to look back on your life and see where you were three years ago four years ago seven years ago etc and I love this app every single morning it's like one of the very first things that I check so that's a quick scrapping with Tori um, and Tori Tech Talk video for you today. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. And if you don't have any questions, but you have an app that you'd like me to do a tutorial on, you could also leave that below. Thanks so much for joining me today. And I really hope that this Tori Tech Talk video of Time Hop inspired you. Have a great day.